Hello students, today we will understand how to manage files and folders. Computer is a machine that cannot think on its own and requires instructions from us. The most important program of a computer is its operating system. It is a medium through which we can interact with the hardware using software. It controls all the activities of a computer. There are various types of operating systems such as Windows, Linux, Unix, etc. Windows is a graphical user interface, GUI, pronounced as GUI between a computer and its user. It has been developed by Microsoft, the world's leading software company. Let me give you some interesting fact. Bill Gates, founder of Microsoft. He developed Windows for general purpose computer systems in 1985. Let us discuss features of Windows 10 now. The first GUI version of Windows operating system was Windows 95. Since then many versions of Windows have been released. The most popular versions of Windows are Windows 98, Windows 2000, Windows ME, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 10. Windows 10 operating system has become very popular because of its following features. Let me give you some interesting fact. Satya Nadella is an Indian born American business executive, engineer and current chief executive officer of Microsoft. He was appointed CEO on 4th February 2014. Attractive and easy to use. Windows 10 has a very attractive transparent look with blue highlighting features. It has a complete set of new pictures, themes, titles and icons. The use of graphics make it quite interactive. It works the way we want and makes new things possible. Improved Start Menu The new Start Menu of Windows 10 gives you quick access to apps and services. In the left pane you can find File Explorer, Settings and a list of the most used apps, Power Option etc. In the right pane, live tiles are displayed which consists of various apps. Search tool Cortana Windows 10 has a refined and powerful search tool called Cortana. It allows you to search for information on the system or on the web directly. It can also be used to play music, video, set alarm and reminders, send email, give voice commands etc. Supports multiple desktops Windows 10 has a new task view button on the taskbar. This button provides the ability to open multiple desktops at the same time. You can create multiple desktops for different tasks so that only one related set of applications are visible in one desktop. There is no limit to the number of desktops that you can create. Window Snapping This feature assists you to work with multiple applications on the same screen. You can drag and drop a window to any corner of screen thereby making space for other apps to be opened simultaneously. The new browser Edge Microsoft Edge is the default browser of Windows 10. It allows you to write and highlight the text directly on web pages. Cortana is an inbuilt feature of Microsoft Edge and helps you do the things faster. Windows Store the Windows Store application provides you with all the kinds of paid and free apps, games, music, movies, etc. With Microsoft Store, you can try an app before you buy it. Windows 10 opens these apps in multiple small windows on the desktop. Another fact to note is that Linux is also a very popular operating system software. It is available free of cost. The most popular versions of Linux are Red Hat, Mint, Fedora, Edu Ubuntu. Okay, now let us find out how to start Windows. When we switch on a computer, Windows operating system starts loading into the computer's memory. Once the process is completed, the first screen that appears on the monitor is known as the desktop. It contains icons which are graphical images or symbols representing files or programs. 
students know the fact that in Windows 7 File Explorer and this PC were referred as Windows Explorer and Computer respectively. Ok, let us learn about Start button now. This is probably the most used button on the Windows desktop. When we click on the Start button, a menu appears displaying the major options along with the live tiles. This is called the Start menu. It provides access to the installed programs on a computer. Ok, let us talk about this PC folder. This PC folder displays the contents of the computer's hard disk, CD or DVD or any other external storage media such as a pen drive. Using this PC icon, we can access and manage all the folders and files stored in a computer. It is useful for finding, organizing, moving and copying files or folders in a computer. Double clicking on this PC icon opens the folder as shown in the figure. Address bar displays the complete path of the selected file or folder. Back button it lets you navigate to the previously opened folders without closing the current window. Forward button after using the back button you can use the forward button to again move to the current open window. Up button it takes you one step up in the folder tree. Ribbon it contains commands arranged in the form of tabs and groups used to work with files and folders. Navigation pane. It is the left pane that displays a list of drives and folders. Search box. Allows you to quickly search files or folders in the current folder. Right pane. It displays the contents of the folder that has been selected in the left pane. Ok, let us talk about File Explorer. File Explorer is an application that provides detailed information about files, folders and drives. It enables you to access, edit, manage and organize your files and folders. You can use it to view, create, delete, copy, move, rename and search files and folders. How to open File Explorer? To open the File Explorer, click on the Start button. Then go to File Explorer option. Or press Windows key plus E. The File Explorer window will open. The left pane displays all kinds of locations such as this PC folder, devices and drives connected to your computer and other folders on your computer. Click a location to view its contents in the right pane. Right pane displays the contents of the folder that has been selected in the left pane. Quick Access is a vertical ribbon that shows a list of frequently used folders and recent files. Details pane shows the most common properties associated with the selected file, such as the author, size and the date you last changed the file on, etc. The status bar displays the total number of items in a location or the number of selected items and their total size. This button displays detailed information about each item in the window. This button displays the items using large thumbnails. Alright, let us find how to view contents. To view the contents of any file or folder, simply double click on it. You can change the layout of files and folders using the view tab. Students, let's take a quick view. Select a file and click on the View Preview pane to view the contents of a file on the right side of the File Explorer window. Students, now let us learn about files and folders. Let me tell you about File first. It is a collection of related information stored together on some storage device such as a hard disk, CD, DVD or pen drive. As we keep important papers in a file, Likewise, any information in a computer is saved in the form of a file. Each file is given a file name which helps us to find it whenever required. Ok, let us talk about folder now. As we keep all our files in a file cabinet, similarly a folder in a computer is like a cabinet where we keep relevant files. A folder can hold other folders as well. A folder within a folder is called a subfolder. You can differentiate a file from a folder with the help of icons associated with them. Ok, let us learn to create and save file. 
The most common method to create a file is by using any application software. Here we are using Word 2016. Open a new blank document in Word 2016. Start typing text on the blank page. After completing your work, save your file using the File tab, then go to Save option. A window named Save As will appear. Click on the Browse button. The Save As dialog box will open. Select the location and type the file name in the File Name text box. Click on the Save button. The document will be saved with the specified file name. Students, now let us learn about creating folder. Right click on the blank area of the desktop. A shortcut menu appears. Place the pointer on the new option. A list of sub options appears, which is called cascading menu. Click on the folder option. A new folder icon will be displayed on the desktop with its default name, that is, new folder. Type a name for the folder and press the enter key. Let us open a file or folder. To open a file or a folder, simply move the pointer to the particular file or folder and double click on it. The file or folder will open and you can view its contents. Let me give you some interesting tips. The shortcut to create a new file is Ctrl plus M. Press Shift plus Delete to delete files or folders permanently. Okay, let us learn how to rename a file or folder. Rename means to change the existing name of a file or folder. To rename any file or folder, right click on the desired file or folder. Select the rename option from the shortcut menu. The file or folder name will be highlighted. Now type the new name that you wish to give to the file or folder. Ok, let us talk about using context menu. When you right click on any icon, a pop-up menu appears which is called context menu. Using this pop-up menu, you can save your time to access commands. Right clicking on the different areas and objects displays different sets of commands. The context menu is also called the shortcut menu. Students, have you ever noticed what happens on right clicking on the blank area of the desktop? When you right click on the blank area of the desktop, you will find a menu with a list of options. The personalize option can be seen at the bottom of this list. Using the personalize option, you can change the desktop background, windows colors, lock screen background, settings of the desktop, screen saver, appearance of icons, menus, taskbar, etc. Ok, now let me tell you about right clicking on an object. When you right click on any icon on the desktop, you will find an entirely different list of options. The properties option will be found at the bottom of this list. It displays the basic information about the icon. Ok students, let us quickly discuss shortcut. A shortcut is an icon which provides an easy and quick method to open any application or software that we use frequently. There is a small jump arrow present at the lower left corner of the shortcut icon. Double clicking on the shortcut icon opens the file or program that it represents. Ok, now let us learn to create shortcut icon for Microsoft Word. Click on the start button, scroll down and select Word 2016 program. Drag the icon to the desktop. A shortcut icon of Word 2016 appears on the desktop with a jump arrow in its lower left corner. Double click on the shortcut icon to open the application directly. Ok students, let us take a recap of this chapter. Windows 10 is an attractive and easy to use operating system. An operating system controls all the activities of a computer. The first screen that appears on the monitor is known as desktop. Small graphics or symbols displayed on the desktop which represent a file or program are called icons. This PC folder displays the contents of the computer's hard disk, CD or DVD or any other external storage media such as a pen drive. 
A file is a collection of related information stored together on some storage device. A folder in a computer is like a file cabinet where we keep relevant files. A shortcut icon provides a quick method to open any application or software that we use frequently.